Hey everybody, we just did a Gyo Taku, a fish imprint, and I want to show you one more thing that you can add to it. Again, as a reminder, you're going to need a piece of paper to do your print on. You're going to need a paintbrush and a sponge or a paper towel. You're going to need Sumi ink, and you're going to need something to make a print of. So I'm going to do one real quick of this fish that I caught. So first I will need to ink him. And you can put this on with a brush or a sponge, it doesn't matter. Now to make my impression. Rubbing him all over. Let's see how it turned out. That's not half bad. Now, we are going to make sure that all the fishermen know that I'm the one that caught this fish. That's what they did in Japan. In Japan, they would use a stamp called a chop made out of sandstone. The fisherman would have his own design carved into the sandstone. He would then dip it into some red ink and stamp his picture. Everyone knowing that that fisherman caught that fish. You may not have a chop or a stamp that's uniquely yours, but actually you do. You know something that's uniquely yours? Your fingerprints. That's right, nobody else in the world has a fingerprint like yours. So I think instead of using a chop, I'm going to use my thumbprint to mark my geo taku. Ready? I think I will put it right here. Oh, yeah. Definitely my symbol on my fish. Thanks for joining us, and I look forward to seeing you again. Hello everybody, we're going to do one more Gyo Taco print taco. Anybody want a taco? How about a Gyo Taco? That would be a fish taco. That's funny. Okay, let's start that again. Take 17.